Welcome to episode 8 of the Automation Minute Flashback, brought to you by InsightsInAutomation.com. I'm Sean Tierney, your host, and today we continue our flashback series featuring View Studio and Lynx Enterprise with a video showing how to do online browsing for HMI tag addresses inside of View Studio. Okay, now let's take a look at how we could browse for tag addresses if the PLC is connected online. In this case, I've already gone back and created a Slick 500 shortcut, and so now I will create a folder for my Slick 500 tags. Again, remembering not to use the same name as the shortcut, otherwise we'd have a conflict. So here I'm creating a folder called Slick 500 tags, and in that folder I'll go ahead and create my first tag. I'll call it analog. I'll make it a type analog. And now I'll go ahead and browse for that tag address. Now what we're seeing here is what we call the tag browser window. And the tag browser window does not constantly uh, pull your PLC or search your hard drive for new tags. If you add a new tag or a new shortcut, you actually have to right click in this tag browser and refresh all folders. Now that I've done that, I can see a lot of different things were added when uh, and updated, but in this case it looks kind of confusing. I have two Slick 500s, I have two PLC5s. Let's go ahead and right click and turn on the server names to help make this make a little more sense. Now I can see if I expand the project, I see my tag folders, and if I expand Lynx Enterprise, I see my shortcuts. And now, if I go ahead and go online with my Slick 500, I will see all the addresses inside of my Slick 500. In this case, I'll choose N70. And that is how you do an online browse. Let's go ahead and accept that tag, and we'll make another one. This time, we'll call it a digital tag. We'll actually name it digital. We'll choose a digital type. And now we will browse again. And this time, we'll choose B30 slash 0. Notice there's no way to choose the individual bit here. So what I'll do is I'll just have to add that manually at the after I bring the tag into the address field. Now keep in mind, just uh, like we mentioned before when we import the tags, when we browse for the tags, the shortcut name is part of the address. So if I went back and changed my shortcut name in Lynx Enterprise, I would have to manually change it in all of my tag addresses. Well, that's it for today's episode of the Automation Minute Flashback. If you'd like to know how to get my complete PanelView Plus training course when it's available, click on the link in this video's description or visit theautomationschool.com. And for more automation how-to videos, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash insights in automation or visit our video website at theautomationminute.com.